Stars, UNT and Duke gear up for one more round of their Battle of the Blues this weekend. And while all eyes are on the Big Easy, there are some concerns here in the Triangle before the outcome of this historic rivalry. Yeah, well, the most anticipated game in the NCAA tournament less than two days away, law enforcement in Chapel Hill not really waiting to prepare for the school's infamously <laughs> large celebrations if UNC wins. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue joins us live in Chapel Hill with the warning local leaders have for students and fans. Lillian. Well, it is tradition for many UNC fans to flood Franklin Street behind me, especially this intersection after big UNC wins. But the game this weekend certainly is not is new to this community, and that's why police, fire, and university officials are urging people to practice safety this weekend, win or lose. <laughs> This is the scene Tar Heel fans hope to have after Saturday night's Final Four matchup against Duke. We'd love to have our chance to be out there and to celebrate. It is a big tradition. What we really want students to do is, is to celebrate safely. Chapel Hill Fire and Police Departments are gearing up in case of a win. We have plans. We have done this before, but we have never done it to this level. This is an unprecedented matchup. School leaders say that matchup could bring thousands of people to the area. We have about 30 plus thousand students, but you may have 55,000, 60,000 people out there celebrating. But they also warn people illegal fireworks and bonfires like this one seen on March 5th could have serious consequences. Just the sheer size of the crowd, the number of people. In fact, UNC's burn center has treated multiple people for severe burns in the past after Tar Heel celebrations got out of hand. People get intoxicated. Get too close to the, you know, and fall in. I even seen a, a case where someone tried to jump over the bonfire, thought, you know, being very intoxicated and, and unfortunately fell right into it. So this Saturday, win or lose, it is an all hands on deck event uh, for the entire town. It will be a busy Final Four weekend for law enforcement as they also check area businesses for capacity limits and watch for alcohol violations. We're still preparing to be here whether Carolina loses. We're going to be here Monday night regardless. And parking will be super tight on Saturday. The town's going to start restricting parking spots here on Franklin Street. That's at 1 p.m. So if you're going to come downtown, just make sure that you plan ahead. Reporting live in Chapel Hill, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thank you very much. We appreciate it.